Does anybody want this? Welcome back to the Green Means Go channel. It's your host, me. And yes, I do have a signed Russell Wilson jersey. Uh, it was a gift from a family friend, actually. Uh, super generous, super kind. He has connections. And um, it's been in this box. And as a Seahawks fan for almost two decades now, over two decades now, uh, it was a great thing to have. And then he left, and I was devastated. And uh, now... He's a free agent. Denver announces the release of Russell Wilson today, Monday, March the 4th, but it will be official on March 13th. That's when he will be a free agent. He is 35 years old, which is old in NFL years, and he still had three years left on his Broncos contract. They now have $85 million in dead cap space over the next two years, which is actually the largest dead cap space in history by almost double. I believe Matt Ryan was the second largest at this point, and that was some $40 million. So this is kind of unheard of. I'm going to be making some predictions on where Russell Wilson will end up, but I want to be clear before we start. I do not think he is a backup quarterback, even at 35 years old. At least I don't think he accepts that role. He is going to have control over where he plays, and he wants to win. He's always wanted to win. He's always wanted to compete. So signing as a backup, I don't think is an option. I have three categories in this presentation. Absolutely not. Eh, and good chance. As you can see, there's tons of teams in the absolutely nots. A few I want to talk about, the Bears and the Buccaneers. With Mike Evans re-signing with the Bucs today, I think Baker Mayfield will come back and stay with that team. Tampa has made it clear that that is something they're interested in, and I think Baker will go along with it. The Bears are just a little interesting because there's so much happening with Justin Fields and Caleb Williams and the draft, so I don't think it's realistic to expect Wilson to go to Chicago but crazier things have happened. Now for the eh teams, these are teams that I think have an outside shot to sign him. I'm not convinced that the Derek Carr experiment went well in New Orleans. I know he battled some injuries, but I'm not sold, and I could see Russell Wilson playing for the Saints. Do I think he'll go back to Seattle? No. Um, Pete Carroll's gone. I think that bridge has already been burnt anyway, but um, you know they have quarterback questions with Geno Smith, Drew Locke, and the draft uh, coming in April, so I don't know what they are going to do. The Cardinals, it's been rumored that maybe they're done with Kyler Murray and they're going to go after somebody in the draft. So uh, do I think Wilson will play there? Not necessarily, but do I think they have some pieces that he could help develop and bring along? Possibly. The Giants are an interesting one because Daniel Jones has a massive contract and I can see Russell filling a spot on that team and kind of letting Daniel Jones take a few years to learn from Russ, but I don't think the Giants have enough weapons and leadership that Russell will want to join that squad. The Falcons are just a mess right now. We've heard talks of Kirk Cousins. We've heard talks of Justin Fields. We've heard talks of trading up. Is Desmond Ritter still alive? I don't know anything about this team. And quite frankly, I don't see Russell Wilson playing for the Falcons. But they're on the eh category because I do think there is a chance. Titans are another weird one because you have Malik Willis, you have Ryan Tannehill, and you have Will Levis. And they're all three just... Eh, right? Like the category says. Um, so why not throw another quarterback into the mix? Uh, I don't think it will happen. Um, but again, I think this is a team that has question marks and could make a push for him. A lot of people have talked about the Steelers. They have decent weapons at receiver. They have a solid defense and they have one of the better coaching staffs in football. But I believe Kenny Pickett and even Mason Rudolph made a clear push for a starter in this league and a starter for this team. So um, we're actually going to talk about the Steelers in just a little bit, but I, I don't think it's happening. I think Russell Wilson goes to one of these three teams and plays his next snap for one of these organizations. And I hate the Patriots logo, bro. You can't center anything when they're on the slideshow. The freaking head and the... T it's, it's horrible. So this is off-center, I know. There's literally no way to fix it. I think the Patriots are in an interesting spot. Mac Jones hasn't really 
proven a lot. Belichick is out. We need a new culture in. And I think Russell Wilson could come into this and establish a culture, uh, be the other side of a fantastic defense or what should be a fantastic defense um, this next year. So I do like the Patriots as a chance to sign Russell Wilson. The Vikings, we know Kirk Cousins is no longer under contract and will be a free agent. And I don't think any of their backups looked great this year. Even Joshua Dobbs, they just decided to bench uh, later on in the season. So they have a position to fill. And I don't know if Hendren Hooker is the guy um, that we didn't see him get any snaps. I think he may have been injured. So keep your eye out for Minnesota. I do think it's a possibility. And I think Russ would be interested as they have a lot of weapons on offense and they have a solid defense. And finally, we have the Raiders, who are also, like the Patriots, starting to rebuild their organization from the top down, but they do return a lot of key pieces on offense, Devontae Adams, we assume, and Josh Jacobs. Uh, and I think Russell Wilson would love to play with both of those two guys. So I see the Raiders as a decent possibility as well. The last thing we'll talk about are the current odds for which team he will play for next. And I find this very interesting. The Steelers right now are the favorite at minus 200. So they're saying it's more likely than not that he plays for the Steelers. But on my research, the Steelers are not interested. The Steelers came out and said very plainly, we are sticking with Pickett and Rudolph. That, those are our quarterbacks. We're not going to make an outside push. So I find it odd and I find it interesting that DraftKings has this lineup when the Steelers themselves have said they're not interested. Raiders are the second best odds or the second most likely team. And I do think that is my number one pick just because of the weapons they have, just because of the city and Sierra. Like, I know it sounds weird, but I do think his relationship, his marriage with Sierra plays a role in where he goes. He kind of mentioned that in Seattle where he wasn't happy. She wasn't happy living in Seattle. Um, and so I think Las Vegas certainly matches the pace of their life. Falcons, come in at third and I don't love that but Patriots at, at four plus 800 I think is kind of a decent spot uh, they would be my second pick and Vikings at uh, my third pick which is plus 950 you can see some other teams here Buccaneers I again I think Baker Mayfield staying Commanders I don't think he would choose to go to the Commanders in any circumstances Titans I mentioned as a possibility Giants at 30 to 1 may not be bad again Bears I kind of talked about a little bit Panthers at 40 to 1 is weird you know I don't think they give up on Bryce Young this early then you have the Saints once I mentioned Seahawks which I mentioned Jets feels really weirder than everybody else I really don't think there's a chance maybe he'll just retire